When it comes to actors in the comic book film genre, nearly everyone in Hollywood has had a crack at these beloved characters. None, however, are as unlucky as this one particular actress. The DC Universe had its ups but mostly downs when it comes to their film adaptations, with actors and crews coming and going after several false starts to projects that never got to see the light of day. There is one actress who seems to be cursed when it comes to the world of DC, starring in not just one but three cancelled projects. This is a story about how Adrian Palicki was almost our Supergirl, Wonder Woman, and villain in the Aquaman TV series from 2006. After Aquaman made a splash in his surprise appearance in the show Smallville, UPN was looking for the next big thing. With tons of buzz around the Aquaman character, it seemed like a no-brainer. At the time, UPN was being purchased and converted into the CW, so the show and all former actors were in limbo. After the CW takeover merger was complete, they wanted to start with a fresh palette of talent, which is why they casted Justin Hartley in the Aquaman TV series instead of Alan Richson. Justin Hartley was more of a well-known, and it seemed like a safe bet to have him play Arthur Curry, or AC as they called him, in the show. Casting the big bad for the pilot episode wasn't too difficult, as the creators had an idea for the direction they were taking the series. After a quick run as Kara in the Smallville series, they turned to Adrian Palicki, appearing in the pilot for roughly 5 minutes or so, and an intense battle at the end of the episode, all things considered, she did very well. The series creators were absolutely shocked to learn that the pilot was not going to be picked up and wouldn't be seen by fans for years, where WB released it as a digital download and was met with relatively positive reactions. You can't help but wonder what could have been. Justin Hartley has spoken about the show and has explained his disappointment in it not being picked up. Next up, in 2011, a Wonder Woman TV series was screened for NBC with tons of talent involved. Interestingly, Pedro Pascal was cast in a supporting role for the pilot opposite Adrian. He later went on to star in Wonder Woman 84, of course. The pilot was filmed and screened for execs at NBC, but they decided to pass. You can find images and even clips from the pilot online, though most of them have unfinished visual effects work. Her outfit in the show was blasted by fans when leaked images from the set showed up online, causing the creators to explain that her suit was a work in progress and it would change throughout the duration of the series. This, the screening, and NBC being extremely selective for their fall schedule are all reasons why they decided to pass on the show. Some people say that the show was ahead of its time, being screened just before the massive comic book bang of the MCU's Avengers. Lastly, Smallville had a fantastic run and also featured Adrian as Kara, but not that Kara. The real Kara character was played by Laura Vandervoort, while Adrian's Kara was a brainwashed version of the Supergirl character, meaning she wasn't really Kara, which led her to be recast by Laura. So with that said, Adrian Palicki is a fantastic actress, making her dent in properties like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and The Orville. And now that Gal Gadot is out as Wonder Woman, fans have made a special request to James Gunn, asking to finally give Adrian her chance as Princess Diana. My real perspective is this, her and DC just don't mesh. Leave the past behind and get a new actress entirely for the relaunch of DC Studios. But I leave the question with you, what are your thoughts on this? And do you want to see Adrian as Wonder Woman? Drop a comment below, sound off, and let's discuss. I'm looking forward to hearing your real perspective. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, remember to subscribe and share. See you guys in the next one.